Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Mike Hammer just hit me up. He wants to do a rear install on this Honda S2000. We're getting ready for the autocross this weekend. So let's check out what he's doing downstairs. Hey Mike, what are we doing today? Hey, what's going on Reggie? So this is one of our test bed cars and we've, we've gone through two iterations of brakes on the front. The first set of brakes, we had just our street kit on it and Mario, one of our guys that does a lot of testing for us and, and we use his car for getting feedback. We had the 13 inch six piston setup on it. But then about six months ago, we came out with a race version. So we ended up going to our two piece hat, which is floating dynamically with T-nuts. So that's been really good. And we've gotten a lot of good feedback from him on it. Well, the next thing that we did is we used to have an older kit that used a rather big caliper we decided to revamp that rear kit. So it's also a 13 inch rotor, four piston super light, but now we're using an electronic parking brake as the parking brake for the system. So it's gonna be a fixed two piece hat rotor and you can use it for track use because these cars don't use a tremendous amount of rear brake. But in this case, Mario uses his car for mainly autocross, some track days, but for street driving as well. So we, we're keep, kind of keeping the car in that trim level. So if you guys want awesome. to check it out, let's go and check out the kit. So, so is this everything that comes in the box, the full on kit? Yes, everything that comes in this rear S2K brake system comes in this, in this uh, heavier set box. New decal sheet, installation sheet. Everybody needs to read these. If it comes with anything you buy, you need to read this. <laughs> Definitely important. Left and right hand brackets. And these brackets, you'll see, they have a secondary bracket attached to them that holds the electric parking brake. Steel braided line kit. Brake pads in this case, it's gonna be the BP20, which is what we're using in the front of this car right now because we've been autocrossing. All of our necessary bolt kits. Hats. Now the thing with this kit is it comes with everything we need in order to set up the electric parking brake system. So it has the controller module. We're gonna be mounting this after we get the brakes installed. It has the switch. It has the full wiring loom or harness that we send along with it. So you're gonna notice in this brake system, there's gonna be two calipers on each rear, rear corner. There's gonna be one for stopping. These are in the competition blue. It's our forged narrow super light four piston. And then the electric parking brake calipers in the same finish. Wow, check those out. Okay. And these kits have been doing really well for us. We're super stoked on it. And it's working out really well for everybody building super high-end custom cars. And then there's our Spec 37 rotors, GT slotted only. What size are those rotors? These are exactly 12.88, wow. although we typically call them a 13. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna get into this. The rotor's pre-assembled. Now we've got everything that we need to do the install. We already installed the other side, so we know exactly what tools, and we're gonna get on it. All right, Mike, where are we at? Yeah, so the install went super easy. Uh, we're gonna take it out this weekend, put some miles on the brakes, 
and then come back and mount the controller and the switch and run the wiring harness for the electric parking brake. That's gonna take a little bit of work and like I said, we wanna get some miles on the car. So we're gonna go ahead and button it up. We got it bled. Um, yeah, let's take it outside, Reggie, and let's go bed the brakes in. So tomorrow when we get it on the trailer, it's ready to go. All right, let's go. All right, man. So what we need to do is saturate the brake system, especially a new system, new pads, new rotors, so that everything gets to the same temperature. Because the brake pad, it has binders or glue that hold it all together. And those glues need to get hot enough so that they get onto the face of the rotor. Then you've got a good, well set up system where you won't have as many problems with squealing, with wear, dust. People think that dust doesn't really have anything to do with it, but it has a lot to do with it. So I'm gonna do a couple more hard stops, 45 down to 20. And that was a good one because I got a little ABS on it. everything get to the same temperature. 